Another TNS wrapped up. My third TNS, and I'm improving. First one, two and two. Second one, four and two. And this last TNS, I have just gone five and two. I made top 48 loser side. And um, I've highlighted three matches, three opponents that I like to look at. I went through from Kryptonite. This player was really good. Put me right into losers right after my first match. Doun seems like a sweet person too. Really positive vibes in the discord that is not sarcasm like you just seem sweet daddy thickums was crazy that's probably like my biggest win right now like that type of prowess level and then ultimately defeated and eliminated by lucia so the big story in this is ling shao yu so i guess um i guess we could look at it chronologically i guess that makes more sense so let's look at damn I, this dude really blew me out bro and um, I've had a whirlwind of the last 48 plus hours running into some great Safina players, learning things about myself I didn't even notice. So I'm kind of playing this tournament not fully awoken from my previous slumber that I just noticed I was in with this game. I was going to sleep on this game, so maybe it'll show in here. All right, and I know they uh, people are saying like, oh, that's so stupid to do, but like if I can run through you, I want to run through you. I didn't get, I didn't killed for it. This move. Ah, so this is what I'm talking about sleepwalking. Look, I'm backing away trying to make distance. And right here, I'm just unfamiliar with Ling. So, I know this is like a safe counter hit, like orbital type move launcher. I should have just sidewalked. I don't know which direction to step. Like, I'm going to really have to lab Ling. So if you know anything about Ling, let me know in the comments. Bam. Right. There you go. It's super linear. So. Could I back that shit? Let me see. No. I know this is super boring, but this is like the... The things I go through. It's a little easier to step that way. And I'm just taking more time because I'm just so unfamiliar with things. Like, I don't see her except for this TNS one. So, okay. Again, this is something that's been pointed out to me as a big weakness. This, this too. Could I have... Uh, Alright, so I cut him off doing that crazy ass move. Oh my god. Got hit. So I got hit. That was some bullshit. She really has long hitbox. You're really going to have to sidewalk her. This has been... Uh, great. Look at them Safina cheeks. This has been exposed to me. as like, yo, you really got to stop pressing so much on wake up. But luckily... I am able to avoid that, and I miss a bunch of stuff because I'm just unfamiliar with Link's uncomfy matchup for me. All right, you know, testing stuff got hit. Oh, he missed. Okay, this time I don't mess up. I don't know if that's the proper punish, but okay. We get to eat. Uh, I'm trying to get to the wall. I don't get it. That's unfortunate. But let's see. What is that on block? This big looping move. Again, probably Ling sideways. I'm not going sideways at all. So plus three, and then he challenges after. He breaks the wall, and I win the round. Ah, <sighs> okay. So I'm not just walking sideways. That's the big thing. I'm not going sideways. I've got some my heat. I'm unfamiliar with things, but again, going sideways. I'm stuck now. Let's see and this is just. Oh, she could do other throws besides one plus two from back turn. Um... All right, I hit him. I follow. I finish the string, which is not good awareness. I should have been aware that it wasn't counter hit. He punishes me, and right now I just I'm ducking for no reason. Cause I don't know Link, she's on the ground and I'm like getting confused. It's a love, it's not. All right. Okay, that time it, it works out. He's also doing a lot of slow moves. Like a lot of these moves are going through the air very slowly. So, not the worst thing. All right, he knew to challenge me. Uh, what happened here? All right. I, was a pl I was plus 10, he was. He's minus 10, so I could have just straight punished. I don't know if the jab reaches, though. Again, 
No sideways movement. First round, no sideways movement, man. That's negative. I'm doing most mostly decent things, but had I just checked more sidewalk and I, I would have went around him a lot. Now I'm stuck. I know how to deal with that. That string that he slapped me into the ground with, but he's not doing it to me on block. He's doing it to me in combos. Alright. Don't go for the bullshit. Let him come to you. Oh my god, that sucks. What is... What did he do? I probably should have did something there to stop this. I, I don't want it to go back so far. Yeah, I could have just immediately challenged that. sideways or something yeah so you could counter hit the okay so we're learning whatever this what is the input that he's doing here he's spinning around and shit acting crazy jabs he does forward three plus four and then he's already pressed two so and i did what down forward one so that makes sense because he's already got his two going and my my down forward one is late but i could have totally just counter hit it this or mid checked him when he was in the air or any point in that moment so it's a little bit of a negative point but it's also like bro like you have space to do something to it but on again unfamiliarity this is good this helps a little didn't get to heat all right it's going for mix-ups i'm yep good i got to heat oh that oh the wall Again, no sideways movement. No, I challenge this time. And he's... So he did this again. Alright, so he would've got me. Down 401 would've checked him. If I would've spent this, guess what happens? The wall breaks. I get a decent combo. So again, no sideways movement. Had I just sidewalk, I would not have gotten counter hit. But I was too busy trying to get to my heat crap. Or I could have just spent it there. How low was it getting? It was getting kind of low. But I was watching Ling. Don't watch Ling. Watch Ling, but don't watch Ling. Alright, he's the heat. I'm stuck now. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So, the big notes for there. It's really hard to give myself points or negative. I don't really know. Like, not too much watching on these slow moves, right? He did a lot of slow moves. Like, he's jumping through the air, these spinning, these flying orbitals, these running kicks. And um, I'm just unfamiliar with it. And not enough sideways movement. So I should have been challenging those slow. So my reactions were down on that. Uh, okay, what else we got? What else we got? I played Grand Kentaro, but he, he did Asu Sena. I don't know what that's about. So whatever. I guess he's giving up on Safina. This is a Safina player, but he's not playing Safina. So damn, look at that defense, bro. You guys want to see my defense? 2 0. 58 defense. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly my throw breaks if i break throws it would go up this match i almost want to show you the first one but i guess we could watch the last one the last one gives you the most information right so that's how i preach on the replay so uh let's go ahead and watch it get ready for the next battle all right i'm a little bit more warmed up on leroy because i've been playing a bunch of i played one really good leroy and then I, i've been running into them a little bit more so again so he this is the we i won this at 2-1 if you show me that you don't know how to stop bullshit i'm going to take that route man because it's like overwhelming she if you can just go crazy with her and cheat it's like playing Dragon off. So I'm doing it. This is a backwards orbital. 
And the reason I had done this grab here is because he is starting to parry me. He can parry most of her attacks. I have to go for something really slow that's not plus frame. So I decide to go for a grab and I get it. Puts my back to the wall, but okay. I'm just going to test Safina crap. This is going to trade. Can I get a combo for this? Or Shit, I need to do that. Hmm, no. If you know a combo or something I could get from that, please let me know. Go right back to it. Ah, he cuts me off. So, I've been challenging. Why is her head sideways like that? I've been challenging successfully with grabs a lot. And this was really smart of him. I don't know if he knew this or if he just decided to do it. He cut him off my, um, I don't think he knew. Cause why didn't he finish? He could have, he probably saw the claw got scared and stopped, but it cut me off. So he really wasn't prepared to fight, fight Safina. And then what happens here is he's plus nine, but now I'm plus seven. So he's either been doing lows or whatever Leroy does up the stances. He, sometimes they sidestep cancel. So I've been showing in previous matches. Again, remember the, the previous matches. That's why I watched the last match. Are you adapting to it? And he's been seeing me block lows and deal with this stuff. So he decides to just um, forego the low. And because uh, I remember one match before he I did a low and he got he did a low on me. And then I just kept blocking his lows. So now he's going high thinking I'm, I'm ducking. And that's fine, but I'm just willing to play this gamble game here because I have so much. Look at my life bar and look at his. So if I'm wrong, like, fuck it. You know, whatever. We're going to be even in life off a chip or a hit. If I'm right, you're closer to death. All right, then I challenge him on wake up. See this? This is important. He's, like, very much pressing buttons. This is the thing I'm spending more time on. This is, like, an issue I have. I, like, like look. He's trying to jab and crap on wake up or whatever. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to do some heat shit or something. Or maybe he tried to rage art. I don't know. But I, I'm having success with this through the matches, so I'm going to do it. Nice block. And again, like, see, I'm I'm willing to play this game of low. I don't know why. I don't know how. These lows aren't reactive. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I remember being very, like, successful against Leroy in second seven. And very unbothered, especially after the nerfs. Not the the pre pre nerfs. It was rough. So like I'm not totally uncomfortable with this, and I've been playing Leroy. And again, like um, the favor is probably in me to not duck and not low parry. But remember, I just grabbed him out his stances. So now I'm like playing this game with him and his stances, right? Like this mental game. Like, well, last time he grabbed me, so I'm gonna go low. Well, do these low pumps? Low parry. Boom. So I'm doing a really good job of calling out, getting a feel for when he likes to do these moves. Look at this sides. This is not a mistake. None of this is a mistake. I was really in his sauce right here, bro. I was in his pot. Sidewalk Leroy is very... They made him more um, track better and stances in here, but sidewalk him left is easy. This is what I should have been doing versus the link, but I really didn't know. I was, I was just trying not to get bullshitted and get whiffs. All right, so I put him in the mix. I've been hitting him with the mid and the low, so he's not doing shit. I back off looking for a whiff. All right. Right here, what I'm doing is, I, like, watch, watch what he's doing. Look, he's jabbing. I, I try to fill the space. And he thinks he can fill that space again, and I challenge again. And we trade, but it's in my favor. So, what I'm trying to get the basis of is something I have not done before, or something that I was subconsciously doing before. And this is a giant plus for me right here is catching somebody's timing and i'm not saying like timing through the match like oh i'm gonna time this low parry i'm gonna block low here i'm gonna grab you in like a micro instance in this quick instance of tekken i saw him challenge so i went up and i challenged because like i think he's gonna do it again i was right he did uh what was the sequence exactly all right, all right i hit him i back up looking look and he shows me he's he's aggressive so now i'm like maybe i could catch this is all happening faster than I'm speaking, right? But maybe I could catch a, a counter hit. Let me try. Nope. Oh, but I was right. He wants to, right? Okay, good. I caught one. So that's like the idea of catching timing, right? Like, um, it's not about like the whole... It is with the whole set, but it, the whole 
grand scheme of the match and your opponent, but also like in a in a specific moment, can you scope something out and cash your timing? And I did. It's a gamble, but you know, I got it. He wasn't well in the back off and I got the counter. I got go right into heat. Go right for my setups. Why didn't that break? Oh, that's so annoying. Sometimes the sometimes this sometimes this claw beats heat burst and sometimes it loses to it. I guess it has to do with activation. I did mine first, so I guess all my frames, his frames are still in like a really good startup, so he wins. I'm probably gonna fire he first. Yep. What did he do? This is something I've been doing, right? So I'm what? I'm minus two. My heat burst is my heat burst high crushes and it tracks. So at minus two at 12 frames, it becomes 14 frames. So what does he do? He does down back one. Which is I'm um, not fast enough. <laughs> and it's had he sidestep, I'm gonna hit him. Had he done a slow button, I'm gonna hit him. Had he tried to do a high, I'm gonna hit him. And this is like, uh, I, I was telling somebody else earlier on Discord, like in the Discord DM from a Safina's uh, server. And I was like, yo, like he burst and just go for the heat smash sometimes when they have low HP. It's like, it's kind of worth it. And they laughed and I'm like, bro, pff, hey, I'm minus 14. Like people don't make good decisions in this game. What I noticed is people do not make good decisions in this game around the heat burst, right? So... You want to look for signs of that type of player. Like, if you can win the Heapers interaction, you have a good chance of winning the, the round and the match because that's such a momentum shift. If they heat burst you and you can make the right decision um, and get the momentum back, then their heat is kind of negated, at least for a little bit, while you have that momentum. Uh, and vice versa, if you could turn the heat on and keep them oppressed and make the right decisions, you know you're gonna win the, your odds of going if winning have gone up and let's see if we get another example here all right so he tried to jump but he does not have the frames he's just not comfortable playing Safina. so the when you have like over 300,000 that level you probably have like I don't know three four characters at second God to God of destruction etc so he has Good experience with this game, but not Safina. Look at this. Look at this combo. Steal this combo. Steal this look. Steal this look. Break the wall. Turn the heat on. It's getting hot. I'm just in the bag. I'm in, I'm in the bag like the fries at the bottom. Got him. This the thing. Remember what I said before. If you could win the heat interaction, you're going to win the round, especially with Safina. He goes for this, and the, uh, now I don't know why. Oh, because he did the he, did he do the heat burst before I did mine. Yeah, we did it at the same time, so the frames are different. The last time, it, I know it was a different move, but the last time he did his heat burst later, and he his one. This time he did his before my claw, or just about the same time, and mine's gonna win. Goes right through it because. Uh, power crushes beat he bursts and he's pretty much done I don't know if I could have did a better combo because I didn't kill him let's go back this is what you do on replay Ah, I can't. All right, you know what? Let's... Oh yeah, let's return to replay. Yeah, so that would have killed them. Let's try it again. Let's see. So, and I knew the wall was there, but I wasn't sure what my combo should be. But now. What you want to do is take note of this, like when you're in this situation. I knew the wall was there. So we're going to do uh, one. One jab. This whole strength. Probably this. Yeah, so something like that. Let's try it again. Uh, 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 break the wall. 
Bound. Screw. Full combo delay ender. So let's see what happens. This is important because now I'm... Um, it's very unlikely he comes back, but he's alive with heat. Anything can happen. And I just step him. Down for a one step. I was in my bag with fries were at the bottom on his ass, bro. His clan tech was crazy. His clan tech would be the SM daddy thick. Motherfuckers degenerate. Alright, uh, and the last one. How long is this video? 20 minutes, not bad. Again, the big theme of the night is going to be Ling Shao Yu, and I, I had to play him twice on Coliseum, which sucked. Both times were random matches. They kept putting me here. The Tekken Gods put me on Coliseum with another Ling player. So let's see. Had I... What I got to do with TNS is I got to use the online experience to my advantage. Like, next time you play somebody good, I should have been studied that while I was playing. Ah, sucks. So, the, what happened here is the previous match I had done down 1 plus 2 into Tarantula. So, I'm thinking what he thought is like, he's going to do that dumb shit. So, I'm just going to launch him. And I had told myself it was funny. I was like, yo, don't don't give him anything. But, that's what it is. Again, no sideways movement. Let's see. Look. What did I do? I just held back. Look, sideways move, punish, counter. Look, launch. Sideways move is so important. In, in Tekken in general, I don't know why I didn't do it against these link players. Get up. Eat mix up. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm too busy trying to backdash. Alright. This is weird. This was also weird. Let me see. Can't catch him. Let me see. No, he can't catch him. I guess we can do this. Alright, so we're just not being too harsh on myself with these lane matchups, but got a sidewalk. Looks like I don't know what's possible from here, but I could have took that space. I didn't. I'm trying to be careful. Look, try not. Ah, I missed this one. Let's see if I could have got it down for two. No, it's too far. You know what I like to do here, guys? Damn, is it recovered that fast? What? That's a high, though. Why does it recover so freaking fast? That's crazy. Back four. A whiff didn't get nothing. So the reason that, and then I do this move because I have been not getting my down space to whiff. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna try to reach him with forward two, three because it's one of her farthest reaching moves and it didn't work. But I didn't get punished for it. Sideways, let's see. I got hit. Look, sideways. Only plus three. Look, and I had blocked it. How, why did I get hit? What did I do? I ducked. Or maybe I got stuck in Korean back. I don't know. So, no reason duck. Not going sideways. And look, not going sideways. Not challenging these slow moves. Could I have seen this? That one's a 23, but still. What is this? Sideways movement. We traded. I'm plus five. What happened? I used it for heat burst. Okay. And I'm just trying to beat him out. Okay. I didn't spend the heat because I wanted to keep it. Trying to lock him down. Oh my god. Okay. Nice. Oh my god. Low right there. <sighs> I just lost the scramble. That was bad. So what happened there was, I'm sure I could sit there and pause it over and over and scrutinize these little pokes. That is one of my weaknesses right now. Is my like that Tekken right there is not good. This, I think I could do it better with like Lee, but I can't do it with Safina. 
So I should have just backdashed. When we started that little poke fest, I should have just ran away. If any was the time to backdash, it was then. So that's a minus right there. And no sideways movement, but I, I didn't know. But I got to check for that on everybody. No whiff. Look, I finally get out of range, then get it. I hate when I miss a whiff. It's tough, though. You're not going to get every single whiff. See? You get whiffs when you expect them, right? Or you set them up. And I was just trying to keep my distance. But. All right, trying to be careful my approach. That's good. This is good. Remember what I said? Challenging. He rolled in. Let me check. It, it, that's the move. Different player. Look on the right side. Forward three plus four. That's the same move. Okay, good. Ah, oh, got linked out. Let me see. So I could have did that. Can't sidewalk this. Yo. Mm. That's something. I, I'd have to lab this. So hopefully I'm going to make a note about this. And what is this? Uh, I think it's what? Down back one. Yeah, it goes in the back. So I know that from old Tekken. I'm just not ready to respond to this move. Damn, what a screenshot right there. I gotta be done. There's no way I'm coming back from that one. And also, I won one of these rounds. Can't be this one. Oh, I remember I did. I won the next round after this. Alright, so now he's in here. Let's see. What happened there? I tried to stand up and he hit me. Alright. Don't know why. I'm stuck. Oh. Uh, I want to watch that again because... This is one of the instances. There was two times tonight where I was like, I'm holding back and I got hit. So I must have backed ass. Let me see. Just want to check that out. Yeah, I was. Don't back. So in that situation, you don't want to back dash. I found out. In those block stuns, you just want to hold back. You have to raw guess, like either hold back or guess low. You can't back back because you get fucked over like that. Uh, that guy at play explained why he did a good video about it. Maybe I'll link it in the description. So this move, this move is annoying. This down back one, cause he he doesn't have to commit. All right, checking down back three. Good. Nice. Finally. All right. I'm probably gonna. Yeah, I'm going for damage mix up. Okay. I didn't take the damage. But the reason I did this is I could have got the red damage to there. But it's whatever. The reason I did this is because the wall was really far. And if I had done down four or one, it um, will knock them too far for me. And I don't like the Oki setup. Like, let me show you again. Let me... I try to avoid this situation because look how far we are. See this? That's not good for Safina. So I did this to keep him close to me. And get T I got plus frames now. Try to get a counter hit. There, sideways movement. Yay. All right. Boxing. I got to be careful. Oh, I didn't break a throw. I can't break those. Got to get this up. Again, I was trying to be careful because we started boxing and I'm not a good boxer with Safina, so I want to stay away from that. She could cancel to go backwards? Wow, that's crazy. Look, had I sidewalk though, right? Sideways move, I would have beat the heat burst. Sideways movement is really key for her. Was this good in hindsight? I don't know. I got a lot of health. Technically, I evened the life out, and we're about the same. Back up. Be careful. 
Oh, I caught him off a of heat burst. He died. So I played a lot better that round. I went through the heat quickly, but I evened up the life lead, which allowed for that to happen. That's what I'm saying, too. Like, sometimes it's kind of... You pick and choose. Like, if you get a heat engager, you want to be in heat a long time to maximize and get chip and all that stuff. Sometimes, though, depending... If they're really low life, it might be worth it to spend it faster than you normally would just to get them down and into a situation of plus five where they have to guess, like... Do they duck? Do they sidestep? Etc. Um, and even then, I chose a really powerful option to spend my heat. Had he sidestepped, I would have got him. Had he challenged, I would have got him. Um, and I en ended up evening the life out. So it would look bad, and maybe I should have did more. But uh, eventually, that set up the kill for the Rage Art, because I, I got a good reaction on the Rage Art, and he died, because I brought his life down. That was a lot of dumb talking. Let's see what's up. Yeah, 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 foolish ass or something. Alright, chill. Good. Ah, uh, Mr. Ah, my reactions are so slow. I'll suck at it. God damn it. What did I try to do? Forward? Four? What the hell did I try? What was that, bro? Ay, ay, ay. Nah, here we go. Ling Shao Yong. Don't fall for it. Whiffs again. Ah, I couldn't get him. Ah, he hit me. I, that would have... Oh, had I been blocked that? And he would have been done with heat. I would have been hurt. So let's see. I would have been in the same position. Now, hold up. Wait. So where did my health go to? Watch my health. Bro. I'm watching the health between a power crush. If I hadn't gotten hit there, I tried to down one of them. So I would have had my health to the th to number three on the round counter, and my chip would have been a little bit. I would have been better off with more. Oh my god! Oh. Then I could have heat. I could have meet engaged, try to get it back. Oh man, this. This cost me. This down one one cost me. I don't. I was way behind, but I would have been better off with that. This was. I I, I solid it up here to hold up. Watch this. Ready? I was fighting for this. I'm trying to make it to the stream. Oh, what happened here, man? Nice. Got him to waste his heat. Damn. There's really nothing you could do. That's stupid. Alright, anyway, watch this. I got him here. I don't know what to do, but okay, I'm in heat. Alright. Pressure. Damn, I chipped him up. Look at his health. Mad chip. And he, he can't get it back with a meat engager. Alright, test them. Break the throw. Nah. Chipping them. Oh my god. Bro, I'm chipping the fuck out of him. Oh. Yes! Oh my god. Hold up. Let me see. So I did it. Yes, punish. So what am I gonna get to? I'm gonna take away all his gray health, but what is the health drop to? Uh, right there, right at the end of that shit. I didn't get the full combo. Okay, but he would act. Uh, Okay, so I could have like did something like this and try to mix them. That would have been the the other alternative, 
But what I did wasn't actually was pretty good damage wise because I could have got close with the delayed down four one. But this got me to the same place and it took away his recoverable health, so he's stuck. I went for down back. Damn. Sideways movement would have helped. I could have blocked that one sideways. Shouldn't have went low. Should have checked mid. It's easy to say in hindsight though, but there's other factors that led to that point. So those are the replays. Not too big on the points this time. I know you guys like the point system, but hopefully talking through the replays helps you guys a lot. And uh, I will be uploading the matches. So if, uh, I've either uploaded them by now or they will be uploaded after this. So let's see what's up. Thanks for checking me out, guys. Peace.